Hey there, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to discuss a typical dilemma we face as chess players. And I'm talking about grabbing material or sacrificing material. Yeah, grabbing, in this case, pawns, grabbing some pawns, but stay behind in development, or sacrificing pawns to gain a better development and bring all your pieces as fast as you can to the game trying to attack your enemy's king. Yeah, it sounds more attractive to sacrifice material, but in practice it's, it's really tough because you may sacrifice pawns and if you are not able to coordinate a good attack, sometimes your opponent will simply be left with extra pawns. So the position we're going to analyze is one that comes from the Sicilian, from a very common variation in the Sicilian, very tricky one, I'll explain it now. And is the position that we have in the board in which white is three pawns down, but already castled and ready to bring all the power. And on the other hand, black king is still in the center and there is still a, a tough thing to do to, to get the king side, the queen side wouldn't be as uh, safe, and staying in the center is really tough as the coordination of the pieces won't, won't never come to the game, and in this way, uh, black's at white's attack can become really menacing through all the game. So, which, which side would you pick? Would you pick black with three pawns, or would you pick white being forced to create threats? Well, let's see. I, I could definitely pick white, but I have to confess that it's not, it's not so simple. Okay, first of all, let's analyze. Let's try to find some candidate moves, how to in improve our, our position. Well, uh, the candidate moves, in my opinion, are rook b1, rook c1, or bishop f3. Well, after analyzing the, the position for a while, I have come to the conclusion that this bishop has um, a couple of tasks that can fulfill. One is to put pressure on b7, and the other is to check the black king with the intention of um, leaving the black king in the center forever. So. Moving it right away is not such a great, great idea. Instead, rook b1, putting pressure on b7 and supporting bishop b5 seems like the most natural move. First of all, let's see the variation of the Sicilian that leads to this position. e4, c5, knight f3, d6, c3, trying to build a, build a center with d4, pretty logical. Knight f6, attacking the e-pawn, and bishop e2, a tricky line. This wins plenty of games in the, uh, in the lowest level, but it is also playable. It's not a bad trap. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, this pawn is um, seems to be uh, undefended, but is indirectly defended by queen a4 check, knight c6, and queen takes e4. Yeah, this is a trick, and plenty of people fall for this one. Try it in your games, and you, you'll discover how easily it is sometimes. Okay, knight c6, a pretty normal move, that blocks the diagonal, and now black is ready to capture. d4, the most active continuation. c takes d4, yeah, let's note that again, Knight takes e4 is a bad move because of d5, and once the knight goes away, white wins the piece again. Yeah, so after c takes e4, c takes e4, and knight takes e4. Yeah, black accepts the challenge as d5 is answered by queen a5. Yeah, that's a, the idea. Otherwise, after moving the knight, queen a4, and again, we will pick up, pick the knight. 
yeah, Bishop Queen A5, and now Knight C3. This is the accurate move. Knight E5, or Knight takes C3. Knight takes C3, B takes C3. Knight A5. Yeah, the Knight Queen takes C3 is not possible because of Bishop D2, and now the Queen is attacked, the Knight is attacked, and Black is losing a piece. So instead, knight e5, knight takes e5, queen takes c3, bishop d2, and queen takes e5 leads to our position. Castle, and queen takes d5. Well, okay, this is the normal way to reach the position we were talking about. And let's try to understand what is happening, or Okay, what is happening we already know. Let's try to understand what are the possible candidate moves for white. Okay, the most popular move is rook b1. Yeah, this is a very mm, good move, a flexible one. Black puts pressure on b7 and at the same time prepares bishop b5. This is really a normal move. The other move that also is popular and favored by the engine is rook c1. Yeah, white is preparing bishop uh, c4 and sometimes even rook c7. For instance, g6 can be answered by rook c7. And yeah, bishop c4 is coming, bishop f3 is coming, queen a1 is coming. So this is pretty dangerous for, for black. And Okay, I want to show you a complete game so you can feel how the variation goes. And the game was played by Martinez Alcantara, the famous uh, Mexican Grandmaster, against Ioannidis Eugenius. This is a title Tuesday game and it is pretty nice. Okay, I'll show it from the move one. e4, c5, knight f3, d6, c3, knight f6, Bishop e2, knight c6, d4, c takes d4, c takes d4, knight takes e4, d5, queen a5 to prevent queen a4, knight c3, knight e5, knight takes e5, knight takes c3, b takes e3, queen takes e3, bishop d2, queen takes e5, castle. We are reaching the position, but in this position, the Greek international master decided to play bishop d7. Now, after rook c1, the game transposed back to the line with rook c1. Yeah, instead, bishop e3 was also interesting to preserve the pawn, and later on, we can continue our development with rook b1 or rook c1. Okay, but Martinez Alcantara preferred to keep sacrificing the pawn. Queen takes d5, bishop f3, and now queen takes a2. Instead, queen f5, bishop takes b7, rook b8, queen rook c7. It's pretty, pretty dangerous for black. Yeah, the, the thing is that the normal development, e6, is answered by rook takes d7, king takes d7, Queen a4, bishop and king e7, bishop e4, and now black is in a serious problem. Queen c5, the only way to prevent queen a7, rook c1. And well, black has a serious problem as queen b6 is faced with bishop a5 and rook c7 is coming. Yeah, this is a fantastic variation that shows how much problems you you may face if you choose to um, win so much pawns and lag behind so much in development. Okay, queen takes a, a2, bishop takes b7, rook b8, and rook c7. Yeah, this is a nice one, a nice position. Now, it's tough for black. The game continues with queen b2. Instead, e6 seems more normal. 
and would have forced Martinez to continue with queen f3. Yeah, the idea is to answer queen d2 by bishop c6, and this seems absolutely winning. It is not possible to capture because of check and mate. And instead, bishop c6, rook, rook d8, bishop takes d7, rook takes d7, and queen c6 again, winning the game. So the right way to go is e6, queen f3, bishop e7, bishop c6, castle, rook takes d7, queen takes d2, rook takes e7, and a5. And this is a position in which white is better, but still far from winning. And it's very simplified. We, we have, I mean, there are three pawns for the piece, and, but even if we manage to win this, this pawn, the pawn on d5, e6, f7, is a very solid configuration and probably it's enough to hold the game. Yeah, so instead of playing queen b2, that happens to be a, a mistake, a losing mistake, e6 was the most logical follow-up with the idea of bishop e7 and sometimes even mm, giving back the material, I mean, sacrificing a piece. Okay, after queen b2, yeah, it seems good for black. The b7 bishop is attacked. Sometimes even queen b6 is coming to dislodge the rook, but Martinez played queen f3. Yeah, this, this move doesn't seem to be possible, but it is, and it's fantastic because it defends and at the same time um, prepares bishop c6. And that happens to be so strong. Queen takes d2, was the game, bishop c6, now f6. Yeah, now it's almost impossible to, to preserve the material plus. Yeah, rook d, rook d8 loses immediately to bishop takes d7, rook takes d7, rook c8, rook d8, and queen c6 checkmate. And instead, um, there is really difficult to, to make a, a better move. f6 was the game, rook takes d7. Now king f7 is mandatory to go out from the discovery check. Yeah, attacking either the queen or the rook. So this is forced. Bishop check. And happily e6 is not possible, so king e8. And after rook takes his a7, it's obviously winning for white. All, all those pieces aren't, aren't playing and it's really tough. The game continued, g6, bishop e6, threatening queen c6, queen c2, and now the game reached the end after the fantastic queen b7. Yeah, queen b7 and black resigns. Yes, taking the queen on b7 would lead to mate. Rook check, rook b8, rook takes b8, queen c8, rook takes c8. Yes, punishing uh, his opponent's greed, but okay, this is not, mm, no, this wasn't absolutely clean. The engine offers some improvement. But in practice, it's difficult for both sides. Yeah, this is the kind of position that we are going, we need to be super precise playing both sides to reach the maximum. Yeah, objectively speaking, the position is better for white, but sometimes it can be really tough to prove it in practice.